Hi, Brian, Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. So I understand one of the key questions you had before taking the role was, does Logan love his children? Yeah. Uh, and why was that important and what do you think the answer is? Because he seems so abusive to his children. And you can abuse your children if you love them, but if you don't, it's just savagery or it's just kind of, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's bitter and unkind, you know, where if you love your child, you're, you're, you're always on the horns of a dilemma, dealing with them and making sure they're all right. And also, and they're so <laughs> weakly disappointing, you know, every week they disappoint in some way or other. And that's Logan's, you know, everybody gives Logan a hard time, but I should think, poor man, he's got these three horrible kids who behave so treacherously, treacherously towards him. And I think we see that a lot more even in this episode, in this series. So, in a way, it's, it, it creates, it puts him constantly on the horns of a dilemma of how does he deal with his children, how does he take care of them. And that's part of the exciting thing of the show, you know, because he's, he wants his child to, wants one of them to succeed, but it seems to be a law of diminishing returns. What do you think it is that draws people in? It feels like, you know, you've got these really privileged, rich people, but there's such a dark humour that shoots through. I think that we see that. We love that. We, 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 audiences love that. They, they love the profound and the profane, and there's a lot of profane, and so they kind of go for it. And that's, that's good television. I mean, it's good drama, it's good theatre, it's, it's good work, you know. It feels like it was very much created in the Trump era. How much do you think that is true, and how do you think it plays out now he's gone? Well, it, it was, but it was. It actually goes back. If you think of it, Jesse wrote in the thick of it, which was the latter end of the Labour government in uh, in Britain, and the kind of what was going on there, and the infighting that was going on, and uh, that's part of what he's what he reflects on, and uh, that's very evident, and, and that's because he is. I mean, I, I wouldn't. It's hard to tab him in a certain way and say he's this kind of writer. He's, several, he's, he's a dramatist, he's a satirist, he's an allegorist. You know, he uses everything to tell the story, and it's the story of our time. Such interesting characters, in particular female characters. Do you yeah. think that's what surprises people? The female characters are very interesting, and they're always surprising, and, you know, and they're never what you expect. They're always something else, and they have that kind of, and they have a a similar kind of drive, but that's also because we have some of the great female writers like Lucy Preble and Suni Anton. So we have these amazing writers that are contribute you know, strongly to the show, and, you know, majorly. For season three, you know, what can people expect? Is it going to be more of the same? Even more shots? Even more. More fireworks. But very much in the same vein. <laughs> well, I think the great thing about it is it, it, it was. It seemed a logical step. I mean, my, I, I'm, I'm very blessed in my career. I want to touch cardboard. <laughs> so I, I feel quite lucky that I, I'm able to do... There's, there's a sense of continuity to what I do. And succession more than fills that bill. You know, it it's, 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 it's always seems like I'm wearing the right suit of clothes. And that's always comfortable. Well, I think the world is ludicrous as it starts. I think we've seen such the world be incredibly ludicrous, you know, with the election of an idiot president, president you know, the pink Pinocchio. Uh, it, it's, it's, it, it, so in a way, we reflect the world. That's what, what a great piece of art, and it is a piece of art, does. It reflects the world as it is and um, eviscerates it. And that's what's happening. And I love that. I love the fact that I'm part of a show which is important to have some kind of meaning. I used to have a favorite child, but it's kind of changed, shifted. You know, I haven't got the favorite child that I used to have. But I'm not going to say who that is. <laughs> that, would, that would be telling. So, no, I mean, um, I know, I, 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 I have to keep my counsel on that one. So I knew from the pitch that this was an amazing show and uh, and I'd seen Jesse's work particularly in the thick of it the work he did on Veep and I just thought this is a real original voice with an incredible team it's not just Jesse it's Lucy Preble it's it's Tony Roach it's John Brown you know Susan Leans. I mean it's a whole bunch of people you know so it's a it's a fantastic group to be with no that's right well I, Adam is a I mean, he's, he's just also in the satirical mode. You know, he writes, his films are kind of strongly satirical, harsh sometimes, 
but that that very much fits the the bill for our show. You know, I, I, Logan's always it's always a gift, you know, and I love the gift, and I'm grateful for the gift. You know, you know I, it's, it's a waste of energy to speculate. I I, I I deal with it as it comes, and that's the exciting thing for me is to to really deal with it as it comes rather than kind of try and anticipate anything. Yeah, especially at a film festival, I think that's that's a good one for television because. I think television is actually really the that is the media of the moment, not movies. Movies are passé. I mean, still great movies. Don't get me wrong, but television is because of the long form. You see, you can develop something over ten episodes. Movies don't do that. It's it's three act, middle, you know, first, second, and third. The television, it's all second act.